Hola, my name is Cody Kaur, and I am a high school student in the High Mountains, Wyoming. My interest here is physics, and I would like to share with you an idea I have about gravity. Well, more like overcoming gravity on Earth and powered artificial gravity, like we might use in spacecraft, in order to help the astronauts to move about in better comfort than in weightlessness. The biggest problems we face when traveling in space is the atrophy our bodies endure while in microgravity. The astronauts on the International Space Station have to exercise several times a day to maintain their bone and muscle strength. But is there an alternative? Can we create artificial gravity? Let me try to explain and understand that I only have a few short minutes to work with here. Scientists have been studying the cause and effects of gravity for centuries, at least since the time of Sir Isaac Newton. More recently, the greatest physicist, Stephen Hawking, has been trying to fit gravity into his theory of everything. ...towards a complete theory of the fundamental processes of our cosmos. His theory of everything. But to crack that involves making sense of the least understood force in nature. But we must understand gravity as it affects individual particles. Hawking and others have recently said they have discovered a gravitation wave, which I don't pretend to understand. But I do see what Newton developed as gravitation force to the attraction or two or more bodies to each other, with the strength of attraction reducing with distance between them. I can also get how a rotating body in space can develop its own artificial gravity by taking advantage of the centripetal forces created by the angular momentum. Gravitational force. Imagine a rotating spaceship. A ship that is not stacked in layers like a deck of cards, but in concentric circles with the crew on the inside. Centrifugal force presses towards the outside, which means your crew is symmetrically pressed against the inside of their own ship. And this will work anywhere. Centrifugal force is governed only by the velocity of your spin and the radius of your spaceship. Scientists recognize that this Earth itself rotates, and so we might suppose that part of gravity is due to the angular momentum of that. But they don't seem to think so attributing all, or almost all, of the gravitation force due to the mass of the Earth alone. This agrees with Isaac Newton. Okay, so here is my idea. What if rotating bodies aligned with the axis of the Earth, but opposite in direction, could develop enough relative difference in angular momentum that the rotating body could rotate fast enough to simulate weightlessness and even rotate fast enough to leave the Earth? It would be like placing a rotating space station at or near the surface of the Earth, align the axis north and south, and rotate this body at faster and faster rotation speed opposite the rotation of the Earth. I don't know if the ro rotating body could escape the Earth entirely or react in a way that would put it into orbit or not. What do you think? I did a quick calculation using data from the sun and the earth and came up with a weightless rotation speed of 1344 rotations per minute for a 200 pound mass. Starting at the surface of the earth, that doesn't seem very fast for weightlessness when we have machines that can rotate much faster than this. On the other hand, almost all machinery is fixed in opposition. We wouldn't know if it became weightless unless the connected shaft and bearings were free to rise, would we? Anyway, check out my formula, formulas and calcs at the end of this video. If I am correct, then we may be onto something very beneficial to the near future we might be able to build a model to test my theory out. And if I am wrong, it would be very interesting to learn the cause of my errors. As they used to say on Star Trek, or will say in the future, engage impulse drive. 